Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lily. I'm a neurologic physical therapist and I'm also faculty at the University of Texas at El Paso. So today we're going to dive in into the typical PT platform and what's inside when you purchase the NPTE exam pack. So remember that this um, prep uh, program is basically question banks and mock exams to help you practice and test your knowledge when it comes to all the material that is included in the NPTE exam, the National Physical Therapy Examination. So when you log into your account, you'll see the NPTE exam pack and the anatomy flashcards. Why? Because when you purchase the NPTE exam pack, you will get as a bonus the anatomy flashcards. So that's an awesome thing to keep in mind. So we're going to click open and what we'll see first is a dashboard. We'll see the three main things um, that I really want to point out, which is the, the, the option to do daily quizzes, custom practice or adaptive practice. You also see your analytics. So, you know, how many questions you practice, the study time, et cetera, and the performance. So here you'll see the average um, score of the cohort like your peers, um, PT students that have graduated or are about to graduate, prepping for the exam, et cetera. And here you can compare your score to your peers. Like what, what kind of, um, where are you in the graph, right? So here you can see, you know, performance wise today, let's say, or yesterday practice, and you know, I was a little bit above average, but some other days I was below average. So that's how you should think when you're, when you're looking at this graph, okay? Underneath you'll see your knowledge assessment and this little shape um, thing that will tell you which topics you have practiced. And then it'll give you like a little star shape when you have practiced several topics. The one closest to the um topic name is where you are stronger at the moment and then the furthest away is where you need to practice and then here you can see the the number of questions you practice uh, or completed and it'll give you a color depending on weakness or strength so we're going to dive into daily quiz so daily quiz is for those people who just want to study on the go you don't really want to customize your practice you are up to any questions that this program will throw at you just because you're on the go. So all you have to do is literally just pick start practice, select the amount of questions and you're gonna start the practice. You could also select timed or just practice, okay? Then the custom practice is um, when you are kind of knowing where you are strong or weak, you're going to want to customize your practice. Um, and here you can select time or practice again. You can see all the questions or you can um, pick the unused question to see new questions. As you can see, there's, there's a lot more questions now over, you know, here over 500, there's so many questions. Or you can practice the incorrect questions, the ones that you have gotten wrong, okay? So then you can pick your, your subjects maybe i i know that i am weak in lymphatic and i want to practice that today okay or perhaps i know that i am weak in neuro then i want to practice that okay and then here you you can further pick intervention differential diagnosis or examination okay so really customize really really personalized to whatever you need and here, the, the biggest thing that uh, really this programs and differentiates themselves from anybody else, from any other program or uh, practice question program, is that they categorize easy, medium, or hard. Now, the hard questions or the hard option is what you want to pick when you're closest to the board exam. Why? Because you want to work on harder questions as you you are kind of summarizing your studying towards the end and let me just uh, uh, let you know that the, sometimes those harder questions including the mock exams which we'll see in a, in a couple minutes um, are higher difficulty because if you can do good on these questions then you can be sure that you're going to do well on the NPTE Okay, so that's something that I wanted to throw out there. And then you can pick the number of questions. You can do 5, 10, 30, or you can customize. So here really it's individualized. 
um, practice for you. The last option is the adaptive um, option or adaptive learning. So this is literally something that nobody has done. So with adaptive learning, what happens is this model is literally learning alongside you. So as you start practicing and doing questions, the model learns what type of questions you're doing poorly or which type of questions you're doing well at. And then based on that, it'll keep giving you questions. So for instance, if the model sees that you're not doing well in neuro, then every time you go in into adaptive practice, you'll get neuro questions. So let's say I am really good at MSK questions. You'll see a little bit less MSK. So does that make sense? I hope it does. So, so this is uh, the adaptive practice option, okay? So as you can see here, it doesn't give you a lot of options. Why? Because it is learning with you. It's learning your, your uh, process, how, how you're doing it and what you need help at. So, so now we're going to go down through this list. The attempts is, you know, the, num the number of attempts. So here you can see I've practiced some of it. Um, so score, you can see I submitted some, uh, incompletes and then, you know, here I submitted all of it. Here's my score, um, 80, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to go back to that attempt, you can see here what you got wrong, what you got right. Okay. Now the note section is, um, here where you will have all your notes that you've taken it'll be listed here okay so let me give you an example so let's say we're going to practice on the go and i am waiting somewhere and i want to just do a, a, a quick practice let's say you know i i answer this question and i really need to study for example um dermatomes i need to refresh that refresh in dermatomes then i go down into the notes take notes and i put review dermatomes okay i want to make sure that i don't forget so i save note and then when i go back to my notes section you'll see the thing that i've written okay the next option is a question bank so here is where you'll see all the questions. So let's say I want to really create a quiz and I wanna make sure all the questions are new, questions that I haven't seen before. I can pick the ones that I haven't seen or the ones that I got incorrect right? Or I didn't answer because if you didn't answer questions, it, it counts as incorrect, right? So here, let's say I want to make a quiz on those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 questions. So then it'll take those 10 questions and it'll, you can start the practice. Okay. So here it'll tell you, you know, green, all, all the questions included. Okay. And you can summarize. Now, um, let's go down and look at the mock exam. So the mock exam here, you can see one, two, three. Okay. So when it comes to the mock exams, the questions, and I want to make sure that you know, this are above the level of difficulty of the actual board exam. Okay, so this is the reason why a lot of students or a lot of graduates prefer this program, because if they know, if the students know that you can do well on these exams, they most likely or you most likely will pass the NPTE. Okay, because these exams are tough. Okay, so it's good, right? Because if you can have a good score and have a passing score, then you can pretty be pretty confident, okay? Now, the other thing that I need to point out is that the explanations of the mock exams are detailed and they won't tell you like, 
read this page on this book or they they really go straight to the point they they give you a very detailed explanation so you don't have to go out of your way and look for the answer and why is this the right answer no 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 so here is a typical pt really provides great explanations so that everything is covered right in front of you and you don't have, have to search for answers, look at the article, et cetera, that some other places only give you a reading to go back to. And that is just time that's wasted, right? So uh, this, this is a, an important feature that you should know about when you get the explanations of why is this the right answer, why is this the incorrect answer? Because as you're looking at that, remember that that is itself a, a way of studying, okay? So, and that's about it, guys. So that is the typical PT platform. Um, and I really hope you uh, dive in with me by getting one of the programs. And I wish you the best in the MPT exam. I wish you uh, a passing score and I will see you next time in another video.